and welcome back. This is Butler Scuba bringing you StarCraft 2 commentary number 50. Oh my goodness, I can't believe it happened so fast. This is a little mini celebration that I'm uh, doing right now. I, I wish the guy good luck, have fun. I am the Red Terran in the Southwest up against Popcorn Boy. I, I don't pronounce the X's. I hope he doesn't want me to. Uh, the blue protoss in the northeast the map is zelnaga caverns and wow look at that apm uh, none of that doing much of anything um the pylons going up you know way at the end look my supply depot's up a little bit later but we you know terrans have that one extra supply that we have uh, i was requested to uh, show a few different uh I don't even know what you call these uh, little graphs or, or you know, displays that show what's going on in the game. You know, nothing so far. Uh, I did slow it down uh, because I do want a chance to talk to you guys. Um, hi, uh, my name is actually uh, Steven. Uh, that's actually my name. I, I'm sure you guys could have figured that out if you thought hard enough about my name, Baller Scuba. That's that's Scuba Steve right there. Scuba Steve. That is how I got the name. Uh, the baller came a little bit later. I actually got it in 8th grade. Wow, look at that, 8 p.m. You know, 150 8 p.m. right there. None of that doing much of anything. He's just kind of twitching around my base. Um, I got it, yeah, 8th grade, long, long, long time ago. Um, I actually played basketball then and uh that's that's what the baller means that's all it ever meant um i know it it sounds a lot cooler than that but that's the end of it look at that 68 apm as opposed to my 20 good lord but he does have one extra harvester for his trouble he's getting a little more gas chrono boost going down meanwhile i'm getting an orbital command and i'm bringing out uh, one marine because I wanted to make sure nothing too cheesy was going on and look what I found I found me a probe hey marine can you go kill him oh but he started walking away just as my marine walked over so I'm getting to get a second barracks uh, nothing too unusual about that build he is gonna see it but I don't think it's going to change his strategy at all. He's going straight into a cybernetic core. He is pretty much staying away from units right now. He's getting harvesters. And of course he does have the lead thanks to that chrono boost and me making that orbital command. However, uh, he has a slight lead. I'll give him a, a slight lead in, uh, in the income in terms of the minerals. But for what that's uh, getting him, it's it's not getting him much. He's chrono boosting a stalker, or he was. He now he's chrono boosting warp gate technology. So he's really going heavy on the macro early. Anyways, back to me. Um, oh, I'm getting an engineering bay. Taking a look at that. Ooh, I'm producing a lot. Um, and I do not have the army that he does. There we go. That one stalker? That's what it costs? Uh, what else is there? He just lost. He lost the one probe. Hopefully I'll use these guys right now and remember him throughout. What else do we got in here? Spending. Production army. I use most of those. What about resources? I don't think I've ever looked at that one. So here we go. Interesting. That that actually shows what each person has. Uh, that's that's kind of cool, actually. He's got a ton of minerals. There we go. Um, actually, no, he's still got a ton of minerals. He's got 600, 250. What is he spending it on? Um, he's he's going for warp gate technology. A couple more gateways. Robotics facility now coming out. Oh, that could spell doom for me. I should have moved out when I had the chance. Look at the army here. And let's look at the units. I like that one better. Two stalkers versus five marines and two marauders, if you could not see it for yourself. So, finally, let's talk about me. Okay, so uh, I actually live in 
Anaheim, California, so I was lucky enough to go to BlizzCon without any help. It's actually uh, about a five minute drive from my house to where BlizzCon was. I passed by it all the time, so it was nothing for me to go over there. Sorry if that makes you jealous, but uh, it's true. Um, it was awesome, by the way. Uh, Tenacious D was awesome. Dave Grohl was awesome. Uh, Chris Medson was awesome. Everything there was 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 great. Um, I actually work until about um, six thirty. I get home about seven, so. Uh, that's when the videos come up. I, I, I know probably most of you will want those to come up earlier. That's really not going to be able to happen unless you guys want me to do it literally before I go to work in the morning, which is, um, I believe I leave about 9.30 in the morning, and that'd be the earliest to go up. Um, really, I, I don't have time in the morning. I, I get up and I go. An observer coming out for Popcorn Boy. He's getting an assimilator. That's pretty much it. Did his APM die? N no. So so what's he doing? Let's look at his camera. He's number two. Oh, there he goes. I sent all my troops in. And down goes almost everything he had. That just goes to show you APM is not everything. Look at that. Yeah, he's doing a better job of micro, but I gave up on this army a long time ago, especially because this wasn't this was really something to keep him in his base. Um, I knew that if I ran away at that point, it would have been over. But look, I took everything out but his three zealots left. That's all he's got: three zealots, an observer, and a lot of harvesters. But I have the same amount of harvesters plus mules. So here we go. I'm continuing my push. It is really late. I should have sent that out a long time ago. He is going to be sending his observer out. So he is going to be able to see that. He is getting an immortal. Oh god, I hate immortals. 